Hello and welcome to another edition of the Blue Review. Today we're talking about Pulp Fiction from Miramax and Lionsgate Home Entertainment. Um, this is the fourth time that I bought Pulp Fiction uh, on any format. I had it on VHS, I bought it twice on DVD, and now I'm getting it for a fourth time on Blu-ray. It's been one of my favorite movies since 1994 when it came out. Um, it, it's an interesting film because to tell you what it's about is kind of complicated. It's a, a kind of a multiple story film. where, And by that I mean there's more than just one through line. There's an A, a B, and a C story. Uh, the sort of the A story is about these two hit men who go to collect a suitcase uh, with some kind of mysterious glowing object in it from these um, kind of college kids uh, in this rundown apartment. And that story plays out in different sections of the movie. The B story is about a kind of a washed up boxer played by um, Bruce Willis who's um, been paid off by this gangster that the two hitmen work for to throw this fight. And instead, he uh, he, he um, hits the guy in the match too hard, killing him, win ultimately winning the fight uh, on purpose. Well, he purposely wins the fight. doesn't mean to kill the guy. And then that B story sort of transitions into some awkward places. And then there's a C story, which takes place with one of the hitmen and Uma Thurman's character uh, as they sort of go on a, a friendship date, as it were, and the sort of the awkward things that happen there as well. Pulp Fiction is an interesting film mainly because it doesn't have a linear structure. It isn't, uh, it isn't told in the traditional way, and so it throws you off the first couple times you watch it. But the writing and the acting in the film is so good uh, and is so strong that it just it really carries every single scene in the movie to the next scene. Um, even Quentin Tarantino's performance uh, towards the end, which is I mean he's not a great actor, but it's actually really kind of fun in the film. Um, and it's just a great movie if you've never seen it. And if you've never seen it, I don't know what you're waiting for, because uh, it's <laughs> this. It was put out in 1994. Now, uh, this version is the uh, first U.S. release of Pulp Fiction, and it is a director-approved uh, transfer. It ports over all the same special features from the two-disc uh, collector's edition, or whatever the hell that one was called. Uh, and as well as some new special features, including um, all new interviews with the cast and crew, as well as a critics roundtable uh, with uh, a couple of critics who actually don't particularly like this film for whatever reason. Um, as well as, like I said, all the uh, traditional special features. So it's certainly worth picking up. I, it's it, it's put out by Lionsgate as opposed to straight up Miramax since they bought all their the rights to all their back catalog. Uh, it looks great. I, the only thing I'm not super crazy about it is it looks like they did a little bit of edge enhancement because there's kind of like um, particularly like on hair, it it all their hair looks like they've got like white streaks going through it and a couple of other sequences in the movie where. I thought it looked a little bit too much, uh, just a bit too much edge enhancement um, on it. But overall, I thought it looked great. I definitely give it a four and a half star. The, the audio, like uh, in the beginning where Jungle Boogie starts playing, it just really, I mean, it, it, it sounded like, it sounded like the, the band was right in my living room uh, playing along. Pulp Fiction is uh, an excellent, excellent film and a, and a great little release from... Uh, Lionsgate for not a huge price. So if you see it and you don't own it, give it a shot. Till next time, peace.